today we are making French vanilla French toast. Very simple, but we're gonna add not just the extract, the pure extract, we're gonna take vanilla bean, half a vanilla bean and scrape it out. So it's gonna be all nice and decadent and we're gonna use our wonderful decadent bread of croissant toast, croissant sliced bread. So it's gonna really elevate this French toast. So to make our French toast, we gotta to have our base, of course, which our base will consist of eggs, milk, heavy cream and evaporated milk, and a little bit of cane sugar. And that will be our base. And of course, the extract and the bean of vanilla. And we have butter in our pan. And the way I like to cook mine is that I like to get it brown in the pan and then transfer it onto a sheet tray and put it in the oven for five to seven minutes. So that way it can fully soak up that moisture and cook it and then there's no egg moisture when I cut it. No runniness and no raw egg taste. I am gonna use two eggs and for time's sake, I'm cracking them, but I'm sticking my fingers in them as I taught you before. So that way I can make sure that the shells don't fall in. Okay. Perfect. Now I'm gonna whisk it. Okay. Now I'm going to pour, I'm gonna pour a quarter cup of milk. There we go. And then I should turn around. That'd be better. I'm gonna put one eighth cup of carnation milk, one eighth of heavy cream. Okay. And then I'm going to pour two capfuls. This one, another capful of vanilla, since this is all about vanilla. It's the vanilla show. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have my vanilla bean right here. I'm gonna need my butter. I'm gonna move that over here. And I'm gonna do sugar. I'm gonna do two tablespoons of sugar. One, two, maybe a little two and a half, two and a quarter. Okay, two and a quarter. Now I'm gonna get my vanilla bean open here. Beans and it's, I would say well over 300 of them once you start whisking them of tiny, tiny, tiny little beans. Vanilla beans in here. Yep. So all of this stuff that you see inside that like that looks black is the vanilla beans so i'm basically just dipping the french toast bread the croissant toast in the egg mixture making sure it's fully coated seeing those little black spots of vanilla beans and just shaking it, making sure I'm sorry. I one more bread in here. Okay. 
And so we're just going to allow this to brown up on both sides. And then I'm going to bake it on 350 for about five to seven minutes. And then we'll have our French toast ready. So the key thing is to just let it get some color. This is the way I do it. You can do, do it the way you like. Um, I just don't like having soggy French toast because a lot of times there's still wet mixture left even though both sides will have color on it and the inside and I prefer not to eat raw eggs so I finish it off in the oven. So our croissant sliced bread has vitamins A and B5. Our butter has vitamin A, B12, D, E, and K2. Our milk has vitamin B2, B12, D, calcium, phosphorus, and potassium. Our heavy cream has vitamins A, D, and calcium. And evaporated milk has vitamins A, D, and calcium. Our eggs has vitamins A, B2, B5, B6, B12, E, D, K, and iron. Our cane sugar has vitamin A, B1, B2, B6, C, niacin, pentothenic acid, our vanilla extract has vitamins B1, B2, B3, B5, and B6. And our French vanilla bean has vitamins B6, niacin, riboflavin, and thiamine. And our powdered sugar, just to garnish and dust off, is vitamins A, C, D, calcium, iron, and potassium. And our maple syrup that we'll put on it as well will be vitamin B2, B5, B6, calcium, iron, magnesium, niacin, potassium, riboflavin, and zinc. And that's optional if you want maple syrup. Real facts, top 300 states are Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama. In Louisiana and Mississippi, one in seven houses struggle to provide food, while it's one in six houses in Alabama. You can learn more by visiting us at jdhcbc.org. Wow, look at our French vanilla French toast. Doesn't it look beautiful? Uh, of course, with the blueberries, makes it even better, nice and refreshing. So here's our call to action. Don't forget to click the like button by giving us a virtual hug. When you do that, that lets myself and my team know that you enjoy the content that we're putting out for you. It allows us to go back to Thinking Lab and think about what can we do for you that's different? How can we create a wheel or reinvent a wheel? And if you're new to this channel, welcome. Well, we welcome you here with open arms and great big hugs. Now, if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe. What are you waiting for? Subscribe and share this channel with your family and friends. They'll thank you for it. And then also, I want to thank you for hanging out with me again today and eating with me virtually while I eat physically. And next time, you can do this and eat this physically too. So comment below when you do do it so we can answer because we do answer the comments. Thank you so much again for hanging out with me today. I really do appreciate your time. Thank you guys. Love you. Bye.